Hey fellow Outriders, it's Angry Turtle and in this video I want to go over all tier 2 mods that you can install on your weapon as I found some of those descriptions very misleading therefore I will try to explain exactly how it works and I did testing then you will be able to see on the screen how those effects work in practice. And just before I start, if you find this video useful the best you can do for me is share this video with your Outriders community. And now to the point. First mod, receive a passive firepower boost equal to 30% of your anomaly power. It's working exactly as stated. You can see that when I start adding more ability power, the firepower bonus is going up. And this bonus you can see if you hover over your firepower that it's stated on your inventory card you will see that it's going up and it's stated as a bonus damage in this case i have a lot of ap i can get up to 500 percent just from this perk now next bone shrapnel killing shots detonate enemies bones and turn them into shrapnel that deals and in my case 200,000 damage, but it's based on level of your weapon, then that's how this damage change and inflicts bleed on enemies within a 5 meter radius. And only one second cooldown, then basically every kill can do that, but you need to know that for kill to count, it need to be a kill from the bullet that you fire. Like, if you aim down sight, you will see a little skull next to your aim when it will be a shot that will count. For example, a shot that will not count, let's say that you have two mods on your weapon, this one and maybe Claymore. If you shoot enemy and Claymore effect will kill this enemy, then Bone Shrapnel will not work. It only works if enemy dies from direct hit by your bullet. That's important because there is more mods that do exactly the same thing, even when not stated. Next we have Striga. 30% of critical damage is returned to you as health, with very short 0.1 second cooldown, and it does work exactly like stated. Based on your damage from your criticals, 30% will go back to you as health. Next we have Shot Inflict Vulnerable on enemies and it works as stated you should and every four seconds it will be ready to apply the status on the enemy and it will be reflected by a marker under his health bar next grave diggers frenzy critical shots increase your critical damage by 50 percent for five seconds and it works exactly as stated you will get 50 percent boost to your critical damage but there is a 10 second cooldown, therefore after 5 seconds with this boost you will need to wait 5 seconds to reapply it. Next we have damage link. Shots link up to 4 enemies sharing 30% of their weapon damage dealt and 15% of their anomaly damage dealt. And this is quite misleading. What it actually means, it gives you area of effect damage with your shot. Like you shoot one enemy and he will be linked to up to four other enemies and when you keep shooting him or dealing damage to him with any other source, the 30% of your weapon damage will be applied to enemies linked to him and 50% of your anomaly damage, like let's say you hit him with a skill, will be applied to enemies that are linked to him. And there is four second cooldown and in the same time the link is up for four seconds as well therefore you cannot double those links you have only once and it's rather weak skill it's look really cool but not as powerful as other skills from my experience now killing shots against frozen enemies make them explode the link 213k damage at max level and this is very similar to bone shrapnel basically exactly the same thing you just need to kill enemy that is frozen, that is more requirements to achieve the same effect and no bleed. Next we have shots inflict ash on enemies and it's quite cool as you can see here, enemy will be frozen with ash. Can you say frozen with ash? No, immobilized with ash and it's 4 second cooldown then every 4 seconds it will work on enemy. Next we have shots that inflict bleed. And this is very similar to the previous one, but this one will apply the status effect 
that cause enemy to take damage and this damage is based on your ability power. Next, burn exactly the same thing as previous one, but applies burn based on ability power as well. Freeze, this one very similar to Ash effect, will basically freeze enemies in place, slightly longer duration than Ash. Then we have Toxic, exactly the same like previous ones. We have Weakness, yep, again, apply the status effect. Similar to Vulnerable, but Vulnerable is increasing your damage by 15% on target with this status, and this one reduces enemy damage by 25%. And next we have Resistance Breaker. Shot decrease your target's resistance by 35% for 6 seconds. The only problem with this one is that regular enemies do not have any resistance, therefore it will not affect your damage versus regular enemies. Even if you are using those enhanced bullets from the skill that are indeed doing ability power damage, not a physical damage, therefore useful for bosses, not for regular enemies. Next we have Minefield, killing shots and as well, the kill need to be caused directly by bullets fired from your gun, but then it will spawn explosive around your target, each deals 58,000 damage in 5 meter radius, it will be 4 explosives as you will be able to see. And next we have Claymore, shots damage an enemy with an anomaly blade, dealing 133,000 damage as well for the max level weapon. It's always based on level of your weapon. And there is four second cooldown. Then that exactly works as stated. Another one, improved stiffening. Shots inflict slow on enemies, four second cooldown. That's quite a good one because the slow lasts for about four seconds and you can have enemy consistently slowed if you have just one target. Next, Storm Whip. It's very similar to Claymore with a difference that there is less damage but only 2 second cooldown. As it says, shots bring down lightning on enemy dealing 74,000 damage, 2 second cooldown, then if we compare it to that, it's a little bit more DPS if you consistently fire over 4 seconds, you will have slightly more than from Claymore. Next we have Vortex Chamber, reloading weapon inflicts slow on enemies previously wounded by this weapon without changing it. Therefore. After you damage multiple enemies on the battlefield and then you reload the weapon, they will have slow applied. Clip Roller. When your magazine has 50% or less ammo left, you can roll to quickly load all your equipped weapons. It does work as stated. And it does count as a reload. Next we have Mark of the Stake. Reloading weapon inflicts burn on enemies previously wounded by this weapon without changing it. That's exactly the same thing like with the slow one, but this one applies burn. Another one, Brain Eater. Critical shots do not consume ammo. And it works. Next we have Crematorium. Killing shots create an explosion that inflicts ash on enemies within a 7 meter radius. And this one work as stated. Next we have Snow Squall. Reloading weapon inflicts freeze on enemies previously wounded by this weapon without changing it. And here we have Perpetuum Mobile. You instantly replenish your magazine if you kill an enemy with 35% on less ammo remaining in your magazine. Does work, just an important note, even though it's not stated in here. As in previous effects, you need to kill with your bullets, killing with your abilities killing with damage over time effects or anything else then direct hit from your weapon do not count to trigger this effect. Even though it just say if you kill an enemy. It doesn't specify how, but it still applies. And last one we have Death Chains. This is a really cool one, you probably already saw it in action. Uh, it's one of my favorites. Shots entangle an enemy with chains dealing 193k damage over 3 seconds and only 2 seconds cooldown, then you can keep reapplying it, what basically make this one the highest DPS effect that you can have from under tier 2 mods. And those will be all tier 2 effects explained. I hope it will be helpful for you guys to choose your best effects. I don't have all tier 3 unlocked at this point, then I cannot go over them, but I will do it later when I will one day unlock them all. But for now, as always, thank you a lot for watching and see you guys in the next one.